Okay, so that number is on a voicemail. And let's try again. All right, we're going to try to call him again. Hi, is Larry available? This is not Larry number and nobody would get Larry number. It's impossible to get Larry number. Okay, who are you? This is I got the number from AT and T. So the number they post online, this not that's not Larry number. About a million people call this number. Oh wow. <clears throat> so you're saying that the bishop um is doxing you? I'm gonna sue him tomorrow. Oh wow! Would you like to come on my show? My, my number. Yeah. Would you like to come on my show so we can get this live? We're actually live on the air right now. But I don't want to show my face. You can call me in. You don't have to show your face. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna send you the link, and what you'll do is you'll click on it, and you'll allow your mic and your camera. But once you're in backstage, I'll say hey. Cut your camera off, and then I'll bring you up. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. So we are live, and we are going to bring the alleged victim. You know, his number is being, you know, advertised as Larry Reed's number, and we are going to get him on the live stream. So just be patient with us. And we are going to send the stream to him. And yeah, this is a lot. And so let's go ahead and bring him on up. Oh my gosh. Okay. So listen here, even though, you know, I'm losing my voice, we are definitely still going to cover the story because we have a job to do. Okay. We have a job to do. Um, let's see. Okay. Hey, hey, Norris, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm so excited to see you here. Um, my voice <laughs> is being attacked. So um, just bear with the sister. My voice is like in and out, in and out. But yeah, we are waiting for the male victim in this scandal. You know, Bishop Whitehead is advertising Larry Reed's number and... We are waiting for them to give us a call into the show. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We are waiting for victims to call into the show. Give me one second. Okay. So actually, I'm going to call him back. Okay, so did he click the link? Okay, when did I send it? Okay, so it's only been two minutes. All right, guys, um, if you are in the chat, I want to thank you so much. Uh-oh, we got Kevin Scamuels in the building. It says Larry Reed reached out to the bishop to ask him why in the he teamed up against him with Tasha, the mfk the k is for iller all right so listen guys we have you know bishop whitehead has put out a number and he said that it is larry reeds i won't show it on the screen but i do have um our victim that was in the crossfire 
of being docs. So give me one second and I'll bring our guest up. Hello, how are you? Hi, good night. How are you? I am well. My name is Queen Tulsa. Thank you for coming to the Queen Tulsa show. Thank you. You are welcome. So just for a backstory, um, for the people that don't know, can you explain um, what life has been for you within the last 24 hours? I'm traumatized, to be honest. People calling me, threatening me, people saying I'm a homosexual, I'm, I'm Larry, I'm this, I'm that. I don't know. I, I got so frustrated to a point I can't wait for tomorrow to come so I can change my number. Oh, wow. So have you reached out to the police? Yeah, I reached out to the police because people tell me they're by my doorstep, look out my window. Like, I had, I have to be with my gun on me all the time. What is this? Absolutely. So let me ask you this. So when you are getting these phone calls, um, are there any specific things these people are well, saying? Why? They, they, they told me, why, Ted? Why, Ted? Stop calling why, Ted, fool. And then some other people call me and say, this is Larry. And they send some crazy, crazy text messages on my phone. And then somebody tell me that, oh, this, this bishop from New York is, um, they post my number online. I met Larry and his team in Miami three months ago. I think I lost my phone. Somebody stole my phone. And not Larry, but one of his, um, um, somebody in his team. And I was just talking to them that I lost my phone and shit like that. And they, there's like, I, right, cause I'm a international soccer player. There's like, oh, we could do an interview whenever you're in town. I was like, I bet. So they end up getting me a phone. I end up, um, I don't have my paperwork in America. So I, to get a phone from, from that service, they end up getting the phone for me. I give them the money and I say, okay, thanks. So this, this phone, I have a receipt of paying for this phone. And giving them the money to buy the phone for me. Okay, so I have a question. So you said that you are you met Larry Reed, his team. So you met Larry Reed's team. Yeah. Where did you meet them, and you know what year? Uh, I met them like um, six months ago when I was in Miami with my wife and and my my kid. I met them because I told them that. Um, I retire and they want to do an interview for me, with me. Okay. So what is it that you do? I don't want to get my information out here. I ain't come here to get my information. I just want this calling and stalking oh. to be done. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. So have you heard the accusations about Larry Reed? That don't have nothing to do with me. To be no, I was I I I was just asking. Yeah, people text me and tell me that, and I keep telling them, um, you guys have the wrong number. Cause my phone blew up like sixty times today. Yeah. So I mean, I, I mean, have you reached out to him to see if he was okay? Because right now, yeah, but now, we don't have that relationship. I met them once. I don't yeah. really live in America. Okay, because I was just going to say right now, you know, the streets are hot and I'm pretty sure he could use a phone call. Well, I don't you even know? know his I don't even know his number. I don't even know his number, to be honest. But I could um, ask somebody from his team to get his number and I will call him because this is crazy. Why are people calling on my phone? Well, Bishop Whitehead said that, you know, can you... Were you dialing out n a number today? Were you trying to reach out to Bishop? Oh, no, but I don't even know who the hell is this Bishop. Could I could I curse on your line? Oh, no. Okay. Now, if you have a cash app, go right on ahead. Do you have cash app? Cash app for what? To, if you would love to do that because it'll I won't get paid for this video. So if you can send me a cash app, go right on ahead. Are you going to send me money to speak? Well, you said that you didn't want to put yourself out there. All right, cool. I send him money. So your, you know, your professional life. We're gonna keep that a secret, but okay. we're just gonna engage right now. 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's okay with you. So listen, let me ask you this. What what type of women do you like? I like all women. I'm not judging on any woman. I find mm -hmm. all women are very beautiful. I've been to 69 countries. So I saw a lot of women in my life. Yeah, so you travel a lot? Yes, I do. Oh, wow. Well, I don't travel a lot. So are you single? Yes, at the moment. Okay. That's cool. So, I mean, what's your ideal um, date? My ideal date? Oh, my day or my date? Date. I don't really like American women. You don't? No. I had like two American women and that shit didn't work out for me at all. It's either one effed up in their mind or the next one is on drugs. Oh, wow. You know. Wow. So, so I, mean, I, I could give it a try. 2023 is bright. Yeah. So do you like to have multiple women? No, I don't have the energy anymore to do that. Oh. When I was younger, yeah, in my prime, you know, I'm kind of famous in Europe, so I used to enjoy my life. Okay. So do you play football? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. So um, there was a famous football player, um, black guy that was overseas. Um, he recently went to glory. Okay. I cannot remember his name, but I just want to say rest in peace. Um, oh, he, he died? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Norm normally, normally, I don't do interviews. Normally, as I said, you know, with my profile and shit like that, normally people pay me to do interview, but he seemed like a cool person. Yeah, you know, I'm, I just, I'm not out to embarrass somebody or to get the juice or the gossip. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to be fair because I feel like with, um, you know, mainstream media, they tell the stories of black people in such a way that's just kind of just bizarre. And so I like to give an unbiased, you know, opinion. Yeah, but I'm doing an interview with Larry. I think it's on Saturday or Friday. I'm going to fly in and do the interview. So you, you guys could tune in. It have a lot of this story you guys need to hear um, because I'm taking legal action. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm taking legal action because I, when it comes to chatting in my life, this is crazy. Yeah. You know? So you guys can tune in on Friday. So listen, just because we didn't warmed up and we're going to see the interview on Friday. So are you going to tell me your name? You got to pay for that, boo-boo. Uh-oh. You got to pay for that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you no name. I'm going to tell you who I am. But... You had a good interview. How long does the interview last? It's good, right? Yeah, it's 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 lasting. So listen, before we take out, I mm -hmm. like to um play this game of have you ever, right? Mm -hmm. And so I just want you to, you know, just be honest. So okay. have you ever explored the deep dark side? Um of like fantasies. My fantasy was like a foursome with four girls and I had it already. That was my fantasy. Oh. Yeah, so I had like a big orgy with four girls in Europe. White girls, blue eyes, on a on a yacht in um, Ibiza. That was my fantasy and I fulfilled my fantasy. Yeah, so you like them light, light lighter skin? Um, no, I like black girls also. Give the black girls some opportunity. Okay. How often do you give the black girls opportunity? Because, you know, you... My ex was black, actually. Okay. Been married before? I've been uh, married when I was 21. 
Oh. For a black woman. Yeah. Yeah. I love my we, I love my black woman. Oh, we love our black kings. What's yeah. your sign? You know? My sign? Yeah, like what month for you born in? Baby girl, you gotta pay for information, boo. Oh. You giving me like a Scorpio or like a Aries or something. It, I don't know. It could be, could be. I think my moon sign is Scorpion. Oh, okay. <laughs> and where's the where's this? Where's the, what is your name? You, you gotta be listen here. You gotta ease up with me. Like just, just be easy. And I listen. But that I girl, pay me, girl, pay me. I ain't doing no interview. Everybody pay me for interviews. Oh no, we're just engaging. But no, this is. I'm just saying, like, just trust that you can actually have a good time. Like, trust people in America. I ain't trust nobody in America. Fuck that shit. Oh you wow. Know, I don't trust American people. Mm -mm. I love them. I just don't trust them. So by you telling me be easy and cool up and like let's have a conversation, it's not serving both of us no purpose right now. Get more more likely you get in purpose out of it and get information. Well, I'm I'm enjoying the the moment. I'm not looking at it as a oh I'm getting the name? Queen Tulsa. Where are you from? I'm from Oklahoma. I've never been there. You should come. Are you single? Yeah. Are you looking for a guy? Possibly. Hot Caribbean guy? Mm. You like Caribbean guys? Listen here. As long as you yes, and as long if you can cook, that's the plus. I love me some hot I can cook. Me. I could cook. My mom has a restaurant. I yes. Can I can do the American food and you just teach me how to do the correct. Do you got a big ass? Huh? Do you got a big ass? Oh, you got to cash at me because you just been called. You just been cursing, 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 cursing. No, I only cursed once. I asked if you have a big ass. Two times. Woo! Oh, that's oh, that's a curse? And you know, sorry, my bad. I didn't know that. <laughs> we use this language, right? We use this in the Caribbean all the time, to be honest. Okay. Did you hear about Bob Marley's son? Um, they found him unalive here in the U.S. Some record deal probably put something in his drink to kill him so they could get the body. Or he probably took some hard drugs, you know it is. In America, they brainwash you everything. Drugs is, the, is paradise. Hey, come have it. This is the life. Mm. Not my life. I had to dump my ex because she take too much of cocaine. Oh, really? Well, listen, um, I'm going to end this live and I'm actually going to, no, actually, um, I wanted to ask you this. Okay. So we can look for you on Friday. So is the interview going to be showing on Friday or Saturday? Friday. So it's going to be a Friday? Live. I'm going to. On YouTube? YouTube is gonna be live. You guys tune in. This 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 pastor guy from New York is is no good. Just for him to like post my number. Why would you do that? And I tried to reach out to this guy and tell him on his live, it's like big man, why are you posting my number online? I'm gonna sue you. I'm probably gonna sue him. I got money. Well, it sounds like it. I mean, you know, I'm just gonna do him just to doing that because you have people chatting in my life. I have really a good lawyer team. Not a problem with me. Yeah, well, you've got my number, and I'm not a stranger. You know, I wasn't calling to harass you or bug you. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you answered for me. It's okay. I got a hangover anyway, so I'm just chilling at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you sound cool. Well, thank you. Mm. This is your show? How much people you have viewing in your show right now? I have 200 people in here. That's what's up. You yeah. go, girl. Thank you. Wish you all the best in the future. You know, I don't know how you look, but you can send me some pics. Let me see how you look. Okay, well, you can. Um, I just posted my cash app. So once, you know, you let me know who you are. And then you're going to send your number through that way. And then we're going to go that far. Yeah. I'm going to send my information after the interview. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay.
Uh, God bless. Take care. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right, guys. That was your exclusive. That was Larry's friend.